Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain the longitudinal mediation. The reason to conduct longitudinal mediation analysis is that uh, in traditional mediation uh, we use cross-sectional data, but cross-sectional data do not fulfill the conditions of uh, causal relationships. As we know that uh, causal relationships require three conditions to be fulfilled. Number one is correlation that X is associated with Y, temporal precedence that uh, X precedes Y, and non-spuriousness that uh, correlation between X and Y is not a result of any confounding variable. I have already explained this uh, causal relationships in uh, my previous video uh, titled uh, Directed Acyclic Graphs, DAX. You can uh, watch that video for more details. Therefore, due to the said reasons, we cannot use the traditional mediation analysis with uh, cross-sectional data. The longitudinal mediation is a superior method that allows researchers to examine how developmental processes unfold over time. There are three types of uh, longitudinal mediation. Uh, number one is latent growth curve mediation. Number two is uh, cross lag panel mediation and number three is uh, latent difference score mediation. I will explain them one by one. Latent growth curve mediation examines change over time by evaluating the average rate of change and variability in the change between individuals. Uh, it has the capacity to explain variability between individuals and variability within the individual at the variable level, but it does not have the utility to explain variance within the individual for the indirect path. And uh, one drawback is it requires a minimum of nine measurement occasions to establish the evidence of uh, temporal precedence. The second technique is cross lag panel mediation, which assumes that the predictor at the first measurement occasion predicts a mediator at the second measurement occasion, which ultimately affects the outcome at the third measurement occasion. It requires at least three measurement occasions, but it does not have the capacity to capture changes within the individual across uh, measurement occasions. The third type is uh, latent difference for mediation. It is the only known longitudinal mediation method that directly models both within and between individual variability. It allows researchers to explain the temporal precedence of modeled variables and relaxes the assumption of systematic change over time. It requires at least three measurement occasions. Now I'll show you how to construct the equation for latent difference score analysis. Uh, this is the equation. The change in x is equal to x variable captured at uh, time 1 uh, minus the previous value of x variable. By rearranging this equation, we will get x is equal to the previous value of x plus the change in x variable. This is how you will construct the uh, equation for a latent difference score model. When you will construct uh, the latent uh, difference score model by using structural equation modeling in AMOS, you will model your independent variable, mediating variable, and outcome variable as lower level latent factors with observed indicators. And you will derive your latent change score variable from two lower level factors. And what you will do, in fact, the latent score at the second occasion, x2, is formed as the unit weighted sum of the latent score at the first occasion, x1, plus the latent score. So the latent score change in x2 is interpreted as the first difference at the second occasion. This is how you will model the lower level latent factors with observed indicators and your latent difference score variables. In this model, as I have already explained, that you will constrain the path between x1 and x2 with unit weight and the path between change in x and x2 with unit weight. And the beta1, that is the path between x1 and change in x, will reflect the first difference at the second occasion. 
Now I'll explain this latent difference score mediation by using an example as I have already told you how to model the lower level latent factors with observed indicators and the latent difference score variable. In this example, the independent variable is disordered eating behavior. The mediating variable is self-esteem and the outcome variable is uh, alcohol misuse. We will collect the data for independent variable at time one, for mediating variable at time one and time two, and for outcome variable at time two and time three. As I already told you how you will model your lower level latent factors with observed indicators and latent change score variable, uh, which you will drive from your two lower level factors. This is how you will construct your latent difference score mediation model in AMOS. After running this mediation model in AMOS, you will get uh, the results similar to this. In this result diagram, we can see that this ordered eating behavior at time one does not predict the change in self-esteem and the change in self-esteem variable does not predict the change in alcohol misuse. Therefore, we will conclude that the mediation does not exist in this example. I have not modeled the latent difference score in AMOS because most of my viewers already know how to establish a mediation model in AMOS. But I have clearly told you how to model the lower level latent factors with observed indicators and how to model the latent change or latent difference score variable. By using these directions, you can establish any kind of uh, mediation model in AMOS and you can also test the difference score for your independent variable. In that case, you have to collect data for your independent variable at time one and time two. This is how we can conduct a longitudinal mediation by using the latent difference score technique. I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching this video. As a group of professionals, you will almost always be separated from other professionals who are not practicing in your field. In the digital age, there is so much potential and opportunity in the power of keeping together. Enjoy the most powerful profile, publish articles, ask questions, and chat with like-minded professionals in a community you can identify with. With us, you will have a chance to mingle with the best discussion boards in your profession for further growth. Join today.